can a pill prevent the more serious outcomes of COVID-19? With this trial, we are looking to see if people who are exposed to COVID-19 and are at high risk to progress towards a symptomatic infection, we can prevent this infection, hospitalization and death by giving uh, the monopiravir uh, drug. That's what an upcoming UNMC trial is seeking to find out. Interestingly, for this trial, the medical center is looking for 1,300 participants who fall under these categories over the age of 19, live with someone who recently tested positive for the virus, have never had COVID, and have never received a COVID vaccine. The reason for not including patients who had COVID and patients who received the vaccine is that these patients already have an immunity and might bias the results of the trial. Fair enough, but would someone who's unvaccinated really sign up to take part in a clinical trial for a COVID pill? The perception uh, can be different for a vaccine than for a pill. Some people would be okay with a pill. Some would not be okay with a pill or with a vaccine. It's hard to predict. Dr. Diana Florescu, who is conducting the study, maintains that the vaccine and these pills play different roles in the fight against COVID-19. The pill does not replace the vaccine. The pill works against the virus. So once we get exposed or we get infected, uh, kills the virus, while the vaccine acts on the immune system. So in case we get exposed to COVID-19, we have a total or partial immunity. Keep in mind, this is an international study, meaning there will be participants in other countries with less access to vaccine. Still, Florescu is encouraging interested Nebraskans to participate. We are looking at bringing new treatments, uh, new medications early um, to help our uh, community so people in the community have uh, early access to these uh, medications.